Hi, I'm Caroline O'Neill, and once again, I'm back at the North Hollywood headquarters of LA's premier independent film production cooperative, The Production Bunch. Today, we're here with Oliver Britton, a writer for the film Blood Mask, and we're here talking to him about his inspiration for the film. Oliver, tell us, how does the mask fit into your inspiration writing process? Well, the mask itself is a sort of, a, I guess, a, a catalyst would be the right word. Something that people, whether they wear it, whether they're in the presence of it, brings them access to some, some unknown sort of, um, I don't know if power is the right word, but some, some, some kind of knowledge, something beyond human comprehension, something where any, a brief glimpse of that brings a state of euphoria and then potentially the more they have that, the more they teeter over the edge, the more they peer into that abyss, the more they go slightly bonkers, so to speak. What has to break in someone's mind, such as yourself, to come up with such a horrifying concept? I think I'm generally just an unhinged per person. I think that helps, probably. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know in terms of what breaks, but it's just a, you know, the, the idea of the, the idea of a story wouldn't wouldn't, wouldn't exist without the, the the other two writers involved. I mean, I'm. Oh, you're gonna blame them now. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it is kind of that. Thing. No, <laughs> I'm teasing Oliver, but he's talking about the importance of brainstorming and collaboration among creative professionals, which is what I think you'll probably agree sets the production bunch aside and makes it different from other film cooperatives. I don't see in this group, Oliver, a lot of egos or a lot of divas. It seems like everybody just brings their best ideas forward and you run with it. Is that fair? I'd say pretty much. I mean, any, any sense of being a diva, any egos are, you know, it's, I mean, we all have an ego to an extent, but we either repress it really well or we just ignore it for the fact that we need to get something done and we need to, get, you know, get the story really, we need, we need to get moving with it. Right. I interviewed Kristen Gorlitz recently and she just had a brilliant statement. She said her responsibility is to the story. Do you agree with that? She's a director. As a writer, what's your responsibility to the story? I mean, essentially my responsibility is to figure out the best story and then just just essentially get it written. I mean, it's very, maybe it's a simplification, but Stephen King once said, when he was asked about how do you write, he just said one word at a time. That's mm -hmm. It's really, all you, it's really all you can say. You get the best story written, you collaborate with people you, who are good at what they do, who you get along with, well, hopefully get along with, and then just, just go from there. You know, it helps I have, it, there's a great team of people here. You know, I, you know, it wouldn't, the story wouldn't exist without them. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as inspiration, one final question. Have you yourself had any paranormal experiences uh, to draw from? Not to draw from, but I mean, being from England, there's history everywhere. So to an extent, my mum would tell me like she would hear weird noises every now and then. So it's not so much me; it's hearing people having these experiences who don't necessarily associate them with being paranormal, but they hear weird things. There's history everywhere over there. I mean, technically there's history everywhere, but you know, it's uh, no, it's the answer actually. So it sounds as if you're saying that a writer's inspiration is sort of acquired through osmosis, being a good observer, a good listener? Essentially, yeah. I mean, you do have to, you, you know, you find yourself overhearing conversations thinking, oh, I might, I might, I actually might use that later. You kind of, it's basically a socially appropriate form of stalking and spying. I love it. And with that, we'll end. And I want to thank Oliver Britton for being with us. Thank you for watching. And as always, if you have questions for Oliver, or any of the writers of Blood Mask, please uh, list those in the comments, and one of the filmmakers will do their best to answer and address each and every question. Thanks, guys. Until next week, Caroline O'Neill, Oliver Britton from The Production Bunch.